What's up guys? Happy Sunday. Hope everyone is well. Okay, so first things first, Paul T. Uh, I've got my emergency uh, engineers crash bag video coming out that you've requested. Um, so stay tuned for that one, brother. That will be uh, hitting soon within the next week or so. Uh, for everyone else, this is a an old video actually. It was shot over the bank holiday weekend. So we'll just get this one out there for this week. We're trying to get some extra content lined up for you guys as well for over the Christmas period. If you haven't subbed already to the channel, please consider doing so. It really helps the channel out. If you've already subbed or you've recently subbed to the channel, thank you very much. Blessed to have you. Right, we'll just get through the intros we normally do on these videos and then we will see you on the other side. Thank you. <laughs> Even though I had the keys, I didn't want to uh, open the door. Thank you. Yeah. So we'll fit a new bottom entry inlet valve. Okay, cool. Uh, a decent one. And then I will put a new, this has got an inbuilt service valve and I'll show you how they work as well, yeah? All right, cheers. I'm glad it was an easy problem to Yeah, yeah. So am I. It's nearly bank holiday, right? I don't want, don't want problem jobs. So this one is leaking from the bottom of the bottom entry in that valve uh, and it's running down. So we'll change the bottom entry in that valve. This service valve doesn't work very well either so we'll whip that off and put a new one on. Um, yeah, nice quick easy job. He says. Yeah. There's a T 
too much left in here, but we'll... Slimy, yucky, yucky. Okay. It's not a lot left in here, guys, so we'll just empty it out manually. Sometimes these can crack, you get a hairline crack or the seal is no good. Clean out as well so we can get our seal, nice tight seal. Solid watertight joint. Just make sure you guys can still see. Dry my phone off. It's a bit. Turn his water off so we don't all have to huddle around a hole. Hi, your brother. You're right. Yeah. So just in future, um, you don't need to use a screwdriver. Even a cutlery knife will do. If you look down there, that's open. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah. So if you turn these like 90 degrees. Oh. It's got a little valve, a little ball valve yeah. inside, and it shuts it. Okay. So you'll have these if they work throughout all of your property. Uh, but as I say, the one on the toilet didn't work very well, so we'll change that with a new one, Cheers. and then next time Maybe get you out of trouble, right? <laughs> So it's a decent 
around there. We'll cut it. So about there is where we need to cut the pipe. See? That's a bit of light. There we go. And then use, I just use the edges of here to clean off the old paintwork. Give it a wiggle up and down, round and round. see it strips off the paint lovely always run some PTFE or something around it on older pipe just to take out any of the imperfections of an older pipe Mind you, the pipe doesn't look in too bad nick actually probably would get away without doing it but it doesn't take long to do so don't be lazy once and then it will hold our olive there we go and now we can unwind our PTFE on it round there we go marvellous and uh, yeah nice tight space So good job I'm losing weight. There we go. So yeah, so not the easiest space to work in. 200 mil. Right. So that will go onto there. We'll loop that round in a minute. Make sure that that face is out. So somebody can actually put a screwdriver or something in on it. Don't be What would you say to be diplomatic, James? Selfish, there we go. Don't be selfish and put this valve face in the wall, guys. Think of the next person, please. Right, let's get the uh, bottom entry in that valve in. Okay. 
Yeah, I like these ones. Nice brass. Solid. Let's just get this to the right height. Let's work out what that is. Yeah, about there should do it. Yeah. There we go. Okay, right, so that goes uh, rubber, bevel, bit inside the toilet, this goes on the base, so when we tighten it up, it protects the china. Get it on finger tight first. I love working on something you can't see what you're doing. There we go. Uh, make sure it's facing the right way and it's not interfering with any other moving parts in the system. Uh, make sure that's good. Let's give that a tighten. Yeah, I normally wear a head torch, but because I've got you guys on my head, I'm not able to do that. this because I can't see They've got these funny pokey out things on them. That obviously would help you grab hold of it if you were undoing it, but they just get in the way when you're doing it up. I'll sh take a photo of it in a second and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Bear with me, I'll put it on the screen now. little <laughs> right put the torch 
track on so you guys can see. Right, so all I have left to do now is I'll do up the bottom bit first so we can keep the service valve pointing in the right direction, which is out, please. Let's, uh, squashed onto the copper okay. yeah so the reason I did that bit first is so it can point out and then we can do a little a little bend so we're not um, deforming the braided hose because you don't want to kink it because that its life and it will start to fray so once we get this on uh, these are nice because you just do them up till you hear them click and that's it I'll check that the um, <laughs> rubber washers in place I have had one before uh, where it wasn't there anymore not sure where that went I didn't eat it let's uh, Again, I don't want to cross thread this, but it's not the easiest place to see. There we go. There we go. So I might need to undo that again at the bottom because uh, I don't want to. Uh, uh, crush the hose. I don't want to put any kinks in it. It's been nice. So let's just take that off a second. Then we'll give this a tighten. You see it's just starting to kink there. I haven't heard it click yet though. There we go, that's that nice audible click, which means we're tight enough. And then let's redo this back up now. And uh, because we've done it once, it should be fairly straightforward to redo it again. couldn't come much lower down with this hose. Come on, on you go. There we go. Right, let's give that a, a nip up. Let me get the water turned back on. It tested. There we go. And then this bit here, where it's just started to flatten out a bit, just get your grips and just gently reform it. When we turn the water on, we'll give it another squeeze, and the pressure of the water should then hold the pipe back into its correct. Formation. All right, let's get this water turned on. Let's uh, turn the service valve off first. 
to make sure we've got no leaks on the olive. Make sure the guy's got his sink taps open a little bit. Open that one, open that one. You alright brother, I'm just going to um, shut down your taps a little bit, not too much, I'm putting your water back on now. Alright, we are done, just need to do a leak check. So I'll just let, let them dribble a little bit, yeah, get the air out brother, yeah. Just take a photo of that for the job report while we're here. And then one. Down there. <laughs> so they fitted a lever valve and the handle actually gets stuck on to the um, side of the plasterboard. Genius. Leave that up there. Just have to gently push the handle forward. I was trying to push it up. Some days you need to be a contortionist in this job. Strong arm, will you turn it off? I'll get my Swede in that little gap. Let's have a bath. I'll get my fat head stuck. I'm going to push this. Leave her forward a little bit. Get it off the plasterboard, there we go. Right. Leave the tag out, so the next person knows what it's for. say the water pressure will <coughs> then help keep its shape you just don't want to kink these guys because they unfray and you can then pop the rubber hose inside <sighs> and they go quite quickly when they go big mess right let's let that fill up let's go and turn off his sink Let's 
All right, looking all good. So we'll just uh, flush it, make sure it's all operational. Make sure the water height's level. And of course there's no leaks. But that's it, yeah, you're done, brother. Cheers, thank you. No, you're welcome. Nah, listen, we uh, manage your expectations as much as we can. So I'm just filling up now. So what I've done is I've taken this this old one out, yeah? So, because what sometimes happens with these is you can end up with a crack, yeah. and it's like a hairline crack, and you think that the leaks actually come in from the inside, uh, where the seal meets the inside of the cistern, um, but it's not. Um, sometimes like these can get overstretched and they crack. So I just always change them out, and we always, I always put a decent one on there, brother. Um, I'm not cheap. So uh, we always make sure we put a brass one on there. So we're getting solid fixings to solid uh, water connections. And then over here, you've got a new inline service valve now. If you, you can see down now, I'll put it on the job report anyway. But as I showed you, you just turn that and that will turn the water off. Okay. Yeah, so that will stop the toilet filling. Yeah. As I say, you do have them pretty much everywhere. Um, well, you're supposed to. Um, occasionally we go to jobs and they're not there, but it's whether they work or not. Mm. So that one was a lit, the, the one that I took off, which was this one, was, uh, wasn't was really very easy to turn. Yeah. And it's in an awkward place as well. So the last thing you want to be doing is struggling with something. When yeah, when you, yeah, when you're trying to, trying to bend yourself over and pull your back at the same time. So we'll flush that, set it up, make sure it's all good. Right. And then that's it, brother. Cheers. Um, that water's back on. Okay. Uh, give it a couple of minutes. I'll just make sure I've got no leaks. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, you can start putting your house back together. Cheers, man. No, not a problem. Tidy up. My that's filling. All right, guys, so while that's filling, there's nothing I want off of here, but just for you you guys, you can look at stuff like this. It's always worth stripping stuff down and keeping uh, on your van little bits and pieces. So these are pretty good. Um, I use these sometimes to fix the cisterns to the wall uh, instead of like this horrible thing here that you get um, nice plastic fixing, good strong fixing as well. So they're good to keep, so I will keep that myself. Uh, other than that, there's nothing else I want off of here. Um, these pegs, you normally get loads on new ones anyway. Uh, so these are the adjustment pegs. Again, you can take them off if you want to. I don't. I don't normally do them. So, just those. Don't know whether that came in the picture a minute ago, so I'll just show you what I just took off that. And yeah, you can see that, guys. I'm no cameraman. Right, so we're all tidied up up here. We've got our box there. Put his panel back on the inside there because that was that was a red herring. Let it go 
go anyway. Oh Lord. Right. Must have done my wheat bix. This cupboard can go back together. Let's give this a wipe down so we can do a leak check in a minute. So we need to adjust the water level on that because it's streaming into the toilet. So that's too high. It might have not been too high actually. Might be the uh, siphon not shutting down. There we go, it's shutting down now. That'll be his next bit. I'll let him know before we put that back together. Not doing that today though, put too much on. There we go, so as we keep running the toilet, you will get condensation, because it's a bit warmer today, especially in these flats. So don't let that fool you. Thinking you've got a leak. Okay, let's take a couple of job photos. That's all looking good. I'll put these up on the screen. You can pretty much see what's been done there. Okay. Let's let this fill up. It's not leaking anymore. So we'll check the height now of our water level. Um, if you look on the back of the toilet pan you'll see a water line which is right here so that's where that's for your six litre flush that's six litres as you guys know there's not a lot of water we don't want to try and conserve water, but we don't want to be doing it at the cost of having to come out and unblock toilets. So we'll let that go up a little bit more and we'll see where that stops. Uh, so this is our overflow here. So once the water gets past here, then it should be going into the pan and you'd be able to see it running down the outside. So, and if you look around the outside, you'll see where the old water line was. So, I want to try and shoot for that if we can. The float should start coming up in a minute. And then we'll do our final leak check. Let them know about his siphon. That'll be the next thing. Okay, that is a little bit high. 
so we will need to lower that down because it is starting to run into the toilet. Alright, let's turn off. Let's turn off. So how was his water level all the way up there before? Must have been leaking. Alright, well I'm gonna save him a fortune on his on his water bill, that's for sure. Just run that again. Yeah. So we need to readjust. Let's open this up a little bit. This is flashing. So, how these readjust isn't the easiest way. You have to pull the pin out, give it a twist, and push it down. Okay, that's the pin out. Just uh, bring that down a little bit more. Lock that in before we put the pin in. And then we'll double check. Let's see what our height is. Before we put the pin back in. So again, you can see the water line there, that's your six litre level. Let's see where we get to. Probably need to adjust down again. Have a look to it. Ah, just. Just, 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 <laughs> right on it. All right. Let's, let's mark off where we're at. So we need to just go down basically one. But of course you can never go down one, can you? Try that, a little bit lower. Next one down. There we go, cool, right. Let's show the customer that. And then, because we're pretty much done then, let me put you guys back down that way. Apologies. Cool. All right, brother. So I'll just show you your water height now. Um, I was just uh, looking at the toilet. So you've got um, like, like a, a lime scale line around you see this pink line, that's yeah. normally where the water level resided. So I, when I originally put it in, uh, uh, that's where I aim to shoot for. Um, but if I go a little bit higher, the toilet actually starts to overflow because it's an internal overflow, the one that you have. All right. So I'm not sure whether that was happening before, um, but um, I've had to bring the, see I've got a pencil line there. So I've had yeah. to come a little bit lower than my pencil line. Um, so it's a little bit lower than the level that you had, 
but it's higher than the uh, six litre flush mark. If you look down here on the back of the is that toilet. Why it's continually flowing out really? Yeah, yeah. So it was continuously flowing out then. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that, no, yeah. No, well, that's no. fi that's fixed now. So oh. look, look. You got two for one today. <laughs> you got two for one. So um, the, the the only thing that hasn't been changed today is the siphon. So sometimes, I mean, I've chested it, and it it seems it seems okay. It's functional. It's shutting on and off. It's flushing okay. Um, and it's got a nice solid shut on it when it's shutting. So I'm happy that that doesn't need to be changed but um, everything else has been done oh. and the other thing you'll notice now on this toilet is it's a nice quiet feel okay, cool. yeah. it doesn't sound like Niagara Falls yeah, at yeah. like three o'clock in the morning <laughs> so so you can flush the toilet now and you don't have to worry about your neighbors if that was ever an issue sometimes it is when when you've got these style of um of systems because the water uh, filling through, yeah. yeah gushes through and makes a loud noise all right, brother, so that's it. So um, cupboard can go back together. I've done a leak check. We're all good here. Um, that's condensation. Uh, so there we go. Happy days. Yes, thank all you right, much. not a problem. Let me get this pin back in. And then and I'll do your job sheet. Let's try and get this pin back in guys. Not the easiest one to get to. Let's, uh, let's turn off one more time. Give it a flush. And then let's get this pin back in underneath. in the toilet seat James let me move that over there guys so you can see that the struggle is real see uh, you might be able to see if I move my f right down there nice and easy to get to not but that's it job done right let's go and do a job report I'll see you in a minute guys I'm just gonna pause you there If I can, why can't I pause you? Okay, brother, I just need a couple of signatures. I'll just take a photo of your boiler. Sure. Even though it wasn't on our job, like if you ever ring us for something, we know what you've got. Cool. So, Valiant Ecotech Pro. Uh, let me take a photo of the GC number as well. It's always handy to have. You never know. Uh, there we go, right, okay, so I'll just get you to sign. Uh, what I've put on the report, I've put the photos on there as well. 
So supply label and materials to replace bottom entry inlet valve on toilet system and supply and install inline flexi hose with new isolation valve. Please see photos attached. So nice and straightforward. And there's all your photos and there's your, I'll put an, oh, not a red arrow. You put a nice color to it, blue. Uh, so there's your cold water um, stopcock there. Well, it's not a stopcock, it's a lever valve. So cold water shut off point there we go what else do we need that's it it's all done so yeah so nice new brass one as i said on the bottom and uh where's the one with the flexi did i not add it all right let me add it quickly uh oh there we are uh, okay, yeah, that's it. So, and then th there's the new isolation valve as I've shown you how to use. So, need a couple of signatures uh, for that. So, if you can sign this one first. So, this one here, if you sign your name there, and then if you push, you have to push hard on my phone, okay. and then you just type your name underneath sure. for me, brother. Thank you, mate. All right, and then... Uh I have that as a happy Easter present, all right? Thanks. Okay, yeah. no, because, you know, you'll use us again then and everyone's a winner, right? Yes, yes. All right, brother? Okay, have a good day. I gave you your keys, didn't I? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, because that's a that's a popular one of me oh, to no, drive no, off no, with the no, customer's no, keys. No, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then I don't realise the two hours. Right, all right, brother. All right, thanks, Enjoy you. your long weekend. Oh, I'll try to Bank holiday, whoop whoop. And uh, yeah. Enjoy the summer. You see you all right, brother. Doors frame me out. Okay. Right, let's get on to the next. for me to carry. Got van keys. Uh, let's not press the emergency exit. Let's press it. guys so yeah i only charged him an hour um it would a little bit longer but there's a good little bit of advice for you guys especially if you're starting out um don't chase every cent down off of customers yeah, you're there to make customers and little things like that you know it's only 15 minutes but believe me they remember those things and that helps you build up your customer base. And not only that, there's a chance that he'll recommend us to somebody else. I've, you know, I get quite a lot of recommendations through Facebook and all sorts, you know? So it's nice. So try and look after them where you can. You know, I'm not saying that you have to go and work for nothing, but don't chase down the money all the time. Right. All right, guys, I'm gonna uh, leave you there. Stay safe. Um, hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. As always, if you've reached the end of this vlog, 
leave a fire emoji in the comments down below and then I'll know who to thank and who the legends are. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. It really helps the channel out, helps us grow. Click the bell, like, uh, subscribe and whatever else you've got to do nowadays. And stay safe guys, stay blessed and I will see you on the next video.